Hi, I'm Eden Williams. I'm from Arizona, but I'm visiting my family here in the Bahamas. Wanting to pursue a film production career in the future, interning at the Dentist Center for the Performing Arts would allow me to practice and learn new skills, meet new people, and become familiar with the skills needed for me to success in the business. Since I'm new to the Performing Arts Theater, I thought that it'd be cool if we interviewed Dr. Nicolette Bethel who is part of Ring Play Productions, a Bahamian theater company that manages the dentist, to ask her some questions about the black box, how it came to be, and a tour inside. So let's get on to the interview. I want to ask you a few questions about the black box. So why was the black box created and what intentions did the creators have for the building? We created the black box because we needed a smaller theater. Um, the main theater has 330 seats but you don't always feel that, depending on the productions that you do. So we wanted to have a theater where we could do experimental work, mm -hmm. where the overhead would not be so high. Um, as you saw it, it's a flexible space, so you can set it up in any way you like. Right. You could set it up in the round, you could make it a, an avenue kind of thing with mm -hmm. seats on both sides, um, or you could have it as a regular proscenium kind of theater. Mm -hmm. We also wanted it to be an intimate space where if, you have to or if you want to the performers can could actually touch the audience so we wanted the audience to be inside so you know you notice how the black box is the, the backstage is all the way around the theater mm -hmm. so the audience walks through the backstage to get into the theater so that was it was to create a different kind of theatrical experience and both Philip and I really like that kind of theater I really really like it mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of a proscenium arch I don't I get the purpose of it and there's some wonderful illusion that you can do when you have that kind of a main stage theater but I really 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 like the intimacy of the black box okay um how did the black box get its star role at the Dundas theater it's a good question I um it's well okay so we like to say that in the Bahamas, Bahamian like new, Bahamians like new things, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So the black box was only created in 2014. Oh, so wow. it's still kind of new. Mm -hmm. um, so there's still a kind of, um, I don't know, sense of, you know, kind of, this a new thing. Mm -hmm. So that's one way. The other thing is it's just, it's, it's more affordable. So a lot of people who are just starting out mm -hmm. will rent the black box because they can afford it. They can, it's much more manageable. They can right. do a small production and they don't have to take so much mm -hmm. of a risk. Um, and I think it's just, I think that, that people just like the different space. There's a lot of, I don't want to say a lot, but people are familiar with the proscenium arch, the raised stage mm -hmm. separate. And it's a completely different experience. And so I think that that's part of it. It's different. After the interview with Dr. Bethel, she gave me an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the black box to show me everything inside. Yes. So we set it up so that, um, well, I'm not anywhere near tall enough, but you see all of these things? Yes. They have a dual purpose. They keep this internal structure here. Mm -hmm. But if you have to make a quick change, you can hang your costumes up there. Mm. Or you can hang your costumes on here and make a quick change, like right, right back here. So you can come in from anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then the, we have this one wall that is fixed. Um, yeah, so I love, I love the space. I have never performed in it, I have to say. I've only directed in it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I would really like to perform in it. I ran into Anthony Roberts, a.k.a. Skibo, and wanted to ask him some questions. Um, since you've been working at the dentist since the early 90s, what is your favorite part about this wonderful performing arts theater? Believe it or not, it's the landlord. <laughs> the landlord is that is perhaps the most interesting story of my dramatic career here at the Dundas. Mm -hmm. The reasons why I didn't originally uh, read for that part was because, I'm sure there's a word for it, I don't know what the word is, but the, the, when I read the play, I didn't particularly care for it. And um, it just, it, to me, again, it, it just isn't that kind of play when you need it mm -hmm. that causes you to want to be a part of it. 
and it turned out to be one of the most interesting plays I have ever been a part of. I, mm. I, I did it two, three times, and it is, again, my favorite, very favorite play, because it, it just, the parts of it, like I said, it, 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 it just grabs you in a way. Yeah. And, and, and if you've got the, the, the supporting cast, mm -hmm. as we did on, on both the correct, uh, occasions and I did it with two different act uh, directors. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a beautiful play. I, I think that's that. That is by far my favorite. Thank role. you so much for letting me ask you some questions and getting your input on how the Dundas Theater has impacted you over the years. I am beyond grateful for this experience to work with Dr. Nicolette Bethel and the other dedicated team members at the, Ded at the Dundas Center of Performing Arts. I feel honored to say that I am a third generation working at the Dundas Theater, with my grandfather Greg Lamping Lampkin being an actor, my aunt Corinne Lam Lampkin writing about it, and me be being able to use my filming skills to capture the wonders and the corners of the black box. I thank everybody who has helped me get to this remarkable experience I will never forget. Thank you.